everyone, another package. So today in this package is Trekkel Art Supplies. Let's see if I can open this real quick. I'll be right back. Alright, so what this is is a starter pack from Trekkel Art Supplies. It comes with the items that you see in front of you. I'll put a link below also for anybody who's interested in getting one of these. It was like, I think you just had to pay shipping and handling, which came to $8. So it looks like it's pre-primed, nice finish to it. So yeah, it's a little tester size. After cleaning your brush with a brush soap, the brush restorer should be applied and let to dry for best effect. The Treckle Golden Taclon 2000, number five. That's pretty nifty. Some fun little stuff already cute little sticker that comes with, and then this brush, which looks like it's right here, golden taglon, available in 6 inch to 10 inch handles. It looks like it's a synthetic hair brush, which is versatile and durable. This observant brush holds its shape and maintains its fine point, which I don't really need that today, but they have a variety of other brushes. What else do they carry? Alright, so they have all, right off the bat, they do carry golden products, which is good. I know a lot of you guys are switching over to the golden, um, the GAC. Let's get this stuff out of the way and talk about our actual project today. Before we start, I want you guys to pause the video and go and grab these items right here. I'll make a list. So starting with Mod, Mod Podge, Liquitex, Varnish, any of your varnishes, clear varnishes will work. I'm using the Mod Podge today. You will need a brush for the Mod Podge, a pair of scissors. You don't need a stencil, but stencils are optional. Paint skins. So the main point of today, all the paint skins that you don't know what to do with or you're sick of making jewelry and other stuff, or they're too small to do bookmarks and things like that, that is what we want to grab today. I'm using canvas panel and we'll be using this little birch board. Okay, so now that you guys aren't paused anymore, let's get talking about what we are doing. So the whole idea for today is we're going to be taking our paint skins. We can easily cut out shapes, fish, anything like that. You can use stencils to come onto the lar like larger pieces and cut out shapes. And then we're going to be mod podging them down into a scene onto our canvas panels. So creating art using all the leftover paint skins. I have down below. Let's see if I can move into this. So I have down below layers and layers of paint skins that we can go through, use for different colors, and everything. So this is the perfect time to go through the ones that you have, kind of get a feel of the colors, get an idea of an image that you guys might want. Is it coffee based? Is it koi pond? Is it, you name it. <laughs> get an image, even if you have to Google something or Pinterest something, pull up an image and base your, your Mod Podge, decoupage, collage out of that if need be. I'm gonna get the plastic off of this stuff and I will be right back. All right, now that you guys had some time to think it over, I wanna take a moment and talk about where this idea came from because I wanna give the artist complete credit. Her name is Sabrina Epton. I'll put a link to her Instagram for you guys below if you guys wanna go check out her stuff. Here's some images for you guys to look at. But she's the one that inspired me. Uh, but she cuts paint skins down to watercolors, to ink paintings, to you name it. She cuts them down and she mainly uses hexagons, which I thought would be fun to play with that kind of idea today, using hexagons just like today's sponsored artist. But as you guys can see, the images, she creates a really fun rainbow kind of art and she can like she's even placed them together to make actual images in outer space 
or overall collages of just rainbow in color. And I find it absolutely beautiful. So wanted to share and inspire. I want to branch her over onto YouTube to all of you to go check out her stuff and maybe she can inspire you guys as well. Right now, I'm going to dig through all of my paint skins. I'm going to get a pile together of what I'm going to use and the plastic off of these and we'll get started. Okay, everyone. So we have all of our skins all set out, different colors. Some of them are from modified strainers and everything. And I thought we'd put a layer of those down using the Mod Podge. Starting with the Mod Podge, then you'll do a layer of the skin, cover it with the Mod Podge, and go completely over until the background is done. Once that is done, then we can come in and I have this. So I'm not sure if you guys can see all the colors in here, but I created this by using the skins of one of the modified strainers. It totally reminds me of like koi fish. So that is exactly what we are going to do. We're going to come in, we're going to cut out koi fish out of here and place them swimming in the pond kind of colors. But for now, let's get the base color down and I will see you guys at the end of that quick little time lapse. For the most part this is dry, I just took the same scissors that I put in our items list and I cleaned up the edges because it needed to be. But this is where we have it. I'm loving the colors. The Mod, Mod Podge is still drying so it's still kind of cloudy. Once it's fully dry these will be completely saturated. Also I let this brush, I use that brush restorer on it, the same one that I was using, kind of being brutal with when applying. And it's been sitting and it's completely dry and look at that. That is some really cool stuff. So our next step is coming in and here's what I was looking at is the overall size. Should I do two koi or one? I've been kind of struggling with that but because we don't need it right this moment, but we do need this, and I do need something to write on this with. Get our scissors out because we will need those. So on this piece, and we're just going to dot out a koi fish or two, and then I'm going to cut it out, and I'll be back, and we can paste it on here together. We got that generally cut out. We're just gonna find where we want to place it. I'm making the tail in this corner and a whisker in that corner. So now we're gonna pull out our mod modipage one more time. This one dries, I'm gonna put it aside and we're gonna start working on a little hexagon. So I got all of my paint skins already placed aside for that. I just gotta get this one open. So yeah, it does come with this cute little part right here that you just place somehow into the hole, maybe. I might have to round it, but it's supposed to stick in there and then be a cute little stand. 
So they stick up. We'll play with that later. I just take some sandpaper to it, round off the edges, and then place it. But for now, I'm just gonna throw this one into a time lapse, place it all down, and meet you guys right back. Okay, so this one's pretty much dry to the touch. It still has a lot to dry underneath, but I'm still going to do the liner on top of it tonight. And I love this one. Crazy fun color shifting colors. There's some vibrancy to it, and yet it's still a little bit on the dark side. And I love that play with the stars. There's like a number three in there. There's like so many crazy little things going on with this. Which I'm thinking of doing something just very simple line art on this one. But this one. Yep. Koi fish. So we have both of our line arts done. After making our little collages. And I come back with the white later or the black later and fix up this white. But moving on, since this is already going to be a very long video today. The last some things with paint skins. Really fun, really cool. I'm gonna get these traced out, cut out, and I will be back. I have this old pour. Never loved it. And we're going to change that. So I want to separate these into color base. I'll be right back. so this will stand up straight. You can always come in and resin this later or 
more varnish on them. I just wanted to play with the treckle um, little birch thing that came in. I was excited to receive it, so there we go. So if you guys want to try out their starter kit, it's $8 shipping and handling. I'll have a link down below for you guys if you guys want to order it. Other than that, just one more idea for paint skins. You can create complete artwork out of them. They don't have jewelry, they don't have to be stuff like that. You can actually come in and create really cool, beautiful pieces. And it's just cutting and mod modpaging. If you guys haven't checked out Sabrina's page, her link is down below for my inspiration. So go give her some love on her Instagram. Go check out all the amazing cool things that she creates. It's a thousand times better than mine, I promise you. <laughs> oh, before I forget, if you guys do decide to order a little starter kit from Crackle, um, you guys should link me in it if you guys do art. I would love to see what you guys create with yours. Or do you resin it? Do you paint it? Do you mix media it using paint skins? Yeah, let me know. I would love to see it. Um, I have a Facebook and Instagram. You guys, if you're a YouTuber and you do a video on it, just link me on it and let me know and I'll go check it out. I'd love just to see what you guys create with the little birch hexagons that you guys get. So, again, you guys are absolutely amazing and I will see you guys tomorrow.